Hey guys, Dower here with another tech video for you. This is actually going to be the YouTube debut of my new 17 inch MacBook Pro. First Mac that I have ever purchased for myself. I was looking for a 17 inch MacBook Pro and well, it looks like I got basically the top of the line. This has got the optional 2.5 GHz Sandy Bridge Core i7 quad core processor, 8 gigs of RAM already in it, 750 gig 7200 RPM drive. You see, I've got the anti glare screen there. I'm very, very pleased with it so far. I did pick it up secondhand already with Apple Care warranty on it. Um, I've been very impressed with it so far, I have to say. It's run very, very smoothly for me. The only upgrade that I can think left to do to it. Uh, short of going up to 16 gigs of RAM, which I may do, I'm going to see how I do with the 8 gigs first, is to install an SSD. I already did an unboxing video on this, and what we have here is our Samsung 250 gig Samsung 840 SSD. I picked this up off Newegg for $150, free shipping. And what this video is going to do is show how I intend to copy all of my data from the 750 gig drive over to my new 250 gig SSD, and then I'll swap the 250 gig SSD. Now the key to this, or you should recognize this guy if you've seen my unboxing video, is this that Samsung so nicely includes. This is a serial ATA to USB powered connector. This will let me hook up my Samsung SSD to the MacBook via USB 2.0, which is a little unfortunate, but hey, I'm going to let it run and it'll take a little while, but that's okay. And let me clone my internal drive to the SSD. I'll then set up my SSD to boot from, install it physically into the system, and then a 750 gig hard 7200 RPM drive that's currently in the MacBook Pro, and I'm going to set that up as an external drive. And I'll use that for copying most of my larger files too when I don't need to access them very quickly. Now a lot of people um, are also big proponents of removing the super drive and I understand that OWC actually does have a caddy that you can install another drive in that location. So far I found that I do use the super drive quite a bit so I don't think I'm going to go that route right now. I have to decide if I'm going to put that 750 gig into a Thunderbolt enclosure, which I've not, I have not found a Thunderbolt enclosure that does not include a drive yet. I'm disappointed by that, but I see that Buffalo does have their Thunderbolt slash USB 3 drive for $170 with a 500 gig in it, which is going to leave me with yet another laptop hard drive that I have no use for, but I may go that route. FireWire 800 is an option on this laptop, but... I don't have anything else in the house that uses FireWire 800, so that seems a little silly. At least with the Buffalo system, I can install, I can use it via Thunderbolt on my MacBook Pro and then use it via USB 3 on all of my PCs in the house. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. First, we obviously need to open this package. Remove the twist tie. Set those to the side. Now what we want to do take our SSD, line up, put this in here, and then we'll hook it up via U to one of the available USB 2 ports. Alright, OS 10 has let me know that this disk is not readable by this computer, so I want it to go to initialize, and that's going to load up our disk utility. Once our disk utility is loaded up, you see 250 gig disk name over here. We're going to click on that. Click on partition. And we're going to set it up with a single partition. At this point I'll go ahead and give the volume a name. Let's name it Mac Book SSD. Options. Make sure that you are set to a GUID partition table. And then we will apply. And we will hit partition. Okay, it's finished. And of course, it quickly popped up, asked if I want to use this time machine. I'm not going to use this time machine right now. And now you can see we have MacBook SSD. Now what I want to do is go ahead and quit disk utility. And the program that I'm going to use that is free to download, and it's got a 30-day trial on it, is called Carbon Copy Cloner. This is a free 
It's com it's a commercial software now. You can purchase it if you like. Um, you do get 30 days of full functionality. All I need to do is clone this drive one time, so that's all I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna click on trial. I'll wait the three seconds. I'm going to select my source, which is Mac OS 10. That's my internal drive. Destination, it's gonna be MacBook SSD. And I'm going to leave it as temporarily archive modified and deleted items. And I'm gonna hit clone. And it's telling me that I should create a recovery HD partition on that disk. So we'll open Disk Center. We will create a recovery partition for this volume. For Mountain Lion, I am currently running Mountain Lion. Ask for my password. We do intend this to be a bootable startup disk, so we do want to go through with this. And you see it's taken care of that nicely for us. This takes just a moment or two to run. Of course, it is a little slow over USB 2, but I'm not too worried about the speed. Okay, it's a lot slow over USB 2, to be honest, but... I don't have USB 3 on a 17 inch. Apple discontinued the 17 inch. It's been successfully created. We'll hit OK. Now that that's been done, we can close that particular window. Destination will be the MacBook SSD again. We will clone. And there it goes. Now we will just let this run until it completes. And then we'll move on to the next step of the video. 46 minutes later, we've copied almost 70 gigs. Let me see, we've still got a little bit more to go. All right, so approximately 54 minutes, 41 seconds later, we have copied 78 gigs of, of data over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll shut the computer completely down. I still had some data reading on the uh, SSD, so I wanted to ensure that was complete. So we're shutting down the Mac. We wanna make sure it shuts completely off. All right, now we'll move to the next step.